Okay, this is going to freak you out. If I was to show you a rock that had eroded such as this, and I said it was a heart, what would you expect to see? I suppose you'd expect to see a big cavity in there, a big chamber, which is this chamber. And then I expect you would see a ton of little holes in there, which are all of these little entryways into that chamber because it goes into your heart and your liver and your lungs and all these different places. So if I could show you all of those little well-formed holes and this huge center, what else would you expect to see? How about some blood? <laughs> I could show you that too. And this is exactly the structure of a heart. If you look over here, as it's all sliced up, basically that's what it looks like inside. Whoops. And these are all these holes. I'll show you in a microscope. You see it. And you will see the blood. Okay, you should be able to see pretty well the holes in the heart which are the blood vessels basically and this is literally blood these tissues like these fibers the, the, the heart is just a complete it's just one big gigantic muscle this is in the crevice of the heart into the chamber and these are like heart strings and so forth it has a lot of fiber stuff inside now let's go to the outside I'm just going to move over towards the outside and back this out a little bit or in a little bit. Alright. Same thing out here. You see there's another that hole there isn't just there for nothing. Alright, and all of these fibers out here, see all the holes? These are all holes to run blood to all your different organs. Let me turn the light down a little bit. Sometimes that oops gives a little better perspective. You can basically see there's some kind of, there was a tube running in there basically somewhere I would believe. Anyway, it's very clear. Now, I am going to back out of here and show all of the different um, architecture of the heart from a much greater distance. All right, this might be a little floppy because I'm just sort of doing it by hand. Um, now, this, let me stabilize this, hold on. You see this ridge running right across the top? That's literally a flap of muscle. And you see how it attaches to the other mu muscle? Now, inside, in here, is where the blood passed before. You see the hole coming out the back? You see the other hole going out the back? You see these holes right here? There's a lot of plumbing to a heart. <laughs> and you saw the red blood. These are all fibers. See if you can watch this. This is a tendon, uh, well it's a it's a connective tissue fiber. Take your time and look at them slowly. And you'll see this that white strappy stuff. That's a, a, a connective tissue collagen fiber. And they are everywhere because that's what the, the heart is just nothing more than one gigantic muscle. And a muscle requires red blood sarcomeres, yes. But more than that, it requires connective tissue. And a connective tissue is what really pulls the heart to make it squish back together. But that's, that's that hole right in there. You see all that? That's blood. That's, that is a heart as far as I'm concerned. My son just picked it up off the beach. They went to Aruba, him and his girlfriend. They just came back. He says, here, Almost looks like a face, doesn't it? <laughs> that's the problem. People see all kind of crazy things. Oh, that's a guy's face. No, it's not. It's a heart. You really have to know what you're doing here. And you have to understand the connective tissues. 
You see down here those strappy looking things? And you have to get into biology and chemistry and all the other assets that, that make this thing work. You can't just look at something and make a decision of what it is.